On an ordinary day, Tyson Mayner, a street boy, wakes up at five o'clock in the morning to embark on his daily hustle of hauling goods for those running businesses at Jicomba Market in Nairobi. However, Thursday morning, Mayner was one of tens of other street children and volunteers who, without training or equipment, put their lives on the line to rescue people trapped in buildings after a fire broke out in the Nairobi suburb. By the latest count last evening, the fire had killed 15 and injured over 70. I was woken up by a blast that was followed by a series of sparking on power cables near the market, Maynard told the nation at the horrifying ruins of what had, just hours earlier, been the lifeline of tens, perhaps hundreds, of families. We started shouting to warn people who were sleeping in the flats, but our efforts to save them were thwarted by security guards, who locked the gates to the apartment blocks fearing that looters would invade them. When the fire started, Joseph Mug, another street boy, woke up his fellow street boys who live under a bridge near the market. We rushed in with containers and drew water from the river and tried to put out the fires, but the police chased us away soon after they arrived, Mug said.